Hello and welcome back to another video on how to install CR Droid and Roid 14 custom ROM on OnePlus 6SXT. This is a new and exciting ROM that brings you the latest features and security updates. From Android 14, in this video, I will show you how to prepare your device. Download the required files and flash the ROM using fastboot commands. Before we begin, please make sure you have backed up your data, as this process will wipe your device. Also, you need to have an unlocked bootloader and a compatible USB cable. I'm not responsible for any damage or data loss that may occur during this process. So proceed at your own risk. Download the required files. The first step is to download the required files for your device. You will need the Lineage OS Copy Partition Script, the CR Droid and Droid Boot, Super Empty, and VB Images, the latest CR Droid and Droid OTA Zip, and optionally. The Google Apps or Microg Installer Zip of your choice, you can find the links to these files in the description below. Extract the Platform Tools. The next step is to extract the Platform Tools zip file that you can download from the official Android website. This file contains the fast boot and add tools that you will need to flash the ROM. Move the required files to the Platform Tools folder. The third step is to move the required files that you downloaded earlier to the same folder, where you extracted the platform tools. This will make it easier to run the fast boot commands later. You should have the following files in your platform tools folder. Now boot your phone to the bootloader mode. To do this, you need to unplug your phone, power it off, and then hold the volume up, volume down and power buttons together until you see a screen. With giant green text saying start at the top of the screen, this is the bootloader mode, where you can flash the ROM using fast boot commands. Now connect your phone to the computer using the USB cable, and verify that you have correctly installed the OnePlus USB drivers. To do this, you need to open a terminal window on your computer and navigate to the Platform Tools folder if you are on Windows. You can use PowerShell or Windows Terminal. Do not use Command Prompt. Now flash the boot and VB Media images to the current slot of your phone. These images are needed to enable the retrofit dynamic partitions conversion, which will allow you to install the CR Droid and Roid ROM. To flash these images, you need to run the on-screen commands in the terminal window. Now erase the old Android partitions in the current slot of your phone. This will ensure that you remove any super partition metadata from other ROMs that use retrofit dynamic partitions, no matter if they store the metadata in system, ODM, or vendor. If you don't do this, then you may encounter errors or boot loops later. To erase these partitions, you need to run the on-screen commands in the terminal window. Flash the copy partition script to the current slot of your phone. This script will copy the existing partitions from the other slot to the current slot, and then resize them to fit the new super partition layout. This will allow you to install the Croided Android ROM without losing any data or functionality to flash this script. You need to run the on-screen command in the terminal window. Now flash the super empty image to the other slot of your phone. This image will create an empty super partition, which will be filled with the CR Droid and Drocker ROM later. To flash this image, you need to run the on-screen command in the terminal window. Now flash the CR Droid and Drocker OTA zip, to the other slot of your phone, this zip contains the actual CR Droid and Roid ROM, which will be installed on the super partition to flash this zip. You need to run the on-screen command in the terminal window. Optionally, flash the Google Apps or Microg installer zip. This is optional, but if you want to have Google Apps or Microg on your phone, you can flash the installer zip of your choice to the other. Slot of your phone, this will install the Google services and apps that you need to use the Play. 
store and other Google features. Now the final step is to reboot your phone to the system. This will boot your phone into the. So this is it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.